Hi, I'm Kevin Myers. I'm going to talk to you today about using the Easy Boot glove in conjunction with Goober Hoof Pack as an additional safety measure to keep the boot on and to give extra protection. Uh, so I'm also going to use some athletic tape. We recommend Mueller athletic tape because unlike Vet Wrap, when it gets warm and wet, it gets stickier rather than slimier. Um, both colors are just as sticky as each other. You can get the black uh, tape on our website, easycaring.com. You can get a lot of these white tapes at any big pharmacy chain store. And so in order to prepare, what I'm going to do is fold the gaiter of the boot down flat so that it's level with the top of the boot shell itself and that's ready for me to use. And then I'm going to take the athletic tape and I'm going to wrap it around the hoof wall just below the coronet band. And the reason that I want to use this is it gives an extra insurance against using the boot. And depending on how new your boots are and how easily boots go on, you wrap this athletic tape around the hoof wall below the coronet band anywhere from two to four times. This horse is our four-year-old and as you can see he's got kind of a wide foot. So I'm just going to wrap it around twice, like that. And what's nice about the athletic tape is you can usually tear it just with your hands, you don't need anything else. So make sure that tape is on and then I'm going to take the Goober Hoof Pack, which is the original Goober Glue with a, with a new name, and I'm going to apply it here around the frog first of all, to make sure that that gap is filled. As you can see on this horse, there isn't a lot of concavity. And what I don't want to do is put so much glue in there that when he puts his foot down with the boot on, that the glue spreads up here be behind the heel ball. I want to make sure that that glue stays nicely under the sole. And the great thing about the hoof pack, of course, is that it doesn't set up very quickly. And so you can really take your time to make sure that you're spreading the glue across the surface as evenly and as equally as possible. Of course, what's also great about uh, this process is that when the weight of the horse, when the horse puts his weight down on his foot, he's actually going to spread that glue around properly and evenly to give him the kind of support that he needs. We've been testing this. Uh, we've done a couple of 50s at Bryce using this protocol, and then Julia Elias also used this at the Man Against Horse 50 this last weekend, and that's that's one of the rockiest rides I know. And that's really what we would recommend this protocol for if you're going to a very, very rocky ride, or if you're um, going to be going out into the backcountry with a horse and you really want to make sure you don't lose a boot and provide additional protection, then this is a great way to do it. So, Goober Glue is in. I've got the boot shell. I'm going to slip it over the quarters while I'm next to the foot. Again, very wide foot on this horse. I'm going to go to the front and support that joint with my knees. Give it a last hug. Now I know that the boot is on, but if you do have trouble getting the boot on, you can always use a rubber mallet. Focus on the toe area. Give it a couple of good bangs. Pull the gator up. Set the foot down. And then I like to use both sides of the Velcro to attach the boot, like so. And as you can see, the athletic tape that we've put on is just a little bit above the boot shell wall, but below the coronet band. So when the foot gets warm or wet, that tape is going to expand slightly and going to provide additional grip. Um, and then what I would recommend after about six hours before you start riding the horse. You just want to check to make sure that no glue has seeped up behind here, behind the heel bulb. None has. Looks good. Apply the gaiter. We're good to go. The other nice thing about this system is that once you've taken those boots off, you can just peel the goober glue out with your fingers or even with a screwdriver. And so it's really easy to, t to put in. It's really easy to take out and um, you can reuse those boots again without any problem. So it's also a, a cost-saving opportunity. So let me know if you have any questions.